if you're not new to this channel, then you definitely know my affinity for Fear of God and certainly Nike. And when those two combine, based on the inspiration of an outfit Jerry Lorenzo wore to a WNBA basketball game, uh, I decided to recreate that a little bit myself. Now, it took a little DIY, and funny thing is, I've inspired other friends to just start, you know, mutilating their own hoodies. with TJ aka TJ two Swoosh Chains and we're in none right now but you know what that's okay let it slide fall vibes are in the air absolutely with the temperature going on right now thank you Midwest weather for cooperating uh, with this fall loving girl and that's right rocking my flannel it is actually one of the fear of God mainline flannels uh, you guys can check out a few of my haul videos I did uh, go ahead and unbox that for you but thank you for tuning in if you are brand new go ahead and subscribe hit the like button as well it truly helps all creators and two Swoosh crew you already know please comment below I want to I want to see I, I gotta I gotta check uh, do you think you all will recreate this or at least just take a hoodie maybe that you don't wear a whole lot maybe do what I did and who knows it could be a new favorite in your wardrobe for the fall so what am I talking about you see this hoodie here okay this awesome hoodie it is a Nike hoodie and it's kind of got like more of an old school vibe I will certainly say that um, I love the richness of the blue and I actually picked this up on eBay all of, I think it was like $13. So can't beat a steal. Now, uh, one thing you all should know is it came as like a real regular hoodie, right? A full hoodie, full sleeves down to your uh, wrist. Yeah, then I saw a picture of Jerry. Now it's not a most, more recent picture, right? It, it's, it's from, I think like maybe last year. But he was gifted a sweatshirt by Kanye. It says Holy Spirit on it. It's, a, it's that oversized aesthetic look. Again, love it. But he cut the sleeves off and it's funny, he jokes in the post like, listen, yay, appreciate the hoodie, appreciate the sweatshirt, but you already know, like I cut the sleeves off. And I love the, the, just the whole outfit. I love the whole outfit. Now I don't own Nike Fear of God ones, okay? Your girl's not blessed enough to own those, uh, nor have I wanted to pay the price on the secondary market. Will I eventually? Yeah, probably, because we know I love the actual shoe itself, but there are other shoes that I can, you know, get like two, three pairs of shoes for the price of the sneaker, even for the retail price of the sneaker at $350. I think, $50. But I love the look that he had, and I said, hey, I want to recreate this, but make it my own a little bit. Now, if you look back, back in some videos, I think when quarantine first started, um, I picked up a pair of pants that really mimic the Nike tearaway pants in the collaboration with Fear of God for the Nike basketball collection that came out. And they were, uh, those pants were from Modern Garments. And then I already have the Nike Air Raid, the Fear of God Air Raid. So I figured, why not? Let's just pair those two together. But I wanted an oversized hoodie and I didn't want to cut any of the hoodies that I already own. And I went with the hoodie versus a crew neck. Uh, Jerry's rocking a crew neck in the picture. I chose to uh, grab a hoodie and use that for my outfit because listen, fall is here and there are gonna be a lot of times where I just wanna throw a hood on and go. So that's what happened and you guys will be able to see in the video. So yeah, I, uh, I chopped the sleeves off. Sleeves are gone, sleeves are gone. <laughs> sleeves are no more. They are gone. Now it actually took two tries. The first time I thought, oh, let's angle it. But once I actually put it on, the angle didn't work that well. So if you want a little tip of where to cut your sleeves on your sweatshirt or your hoodie, put the actual hoodie on, let your arms just hang to the side and determine where you want the actual end of the sleeve to fall on your arm when it's just relaxed. Wherever that is, mark it. And then once you mark that, lay your hoodie down like I show you guys, you know, end over end with the sleeves um, lined up perfectly or as perfect as you can get them. And then just cut straight across. Don't cut angled like I cut, just cut straight across and you should be fine. Uh, the hoodie is very, very comfortable. So the fact that now I have that 
uh, that cropped look for the sleeves. Love it. So you guys can just get an idea here. And I would say definitely go oversized. Now, if you want it to fit more like true to size, then that's fine. But the whole point of the look is most everything Jerry rocks is oversized and that become an adoption of mine too but you gotta make it your own right it's cool to be inspired by something we all get inspired we see things uh, um you know pictures and videos a lot of things are marketed to us products whether you know it or not they certainly are they're put in front of our faces and we categorize it as oh i love it or maybe oh i hate it or maybe i'll try it but if it speaks to you find a way to make it your own so no i don't have a kanye west holy spirit sweatshirt but a nike sweatshirt a nike air sweatshirt is very reminiscent of all of my style and all of my two swoosh crew uh love you guys should know that so Great hoodie, discount is only $30 on eBay. Again, don't ever sleep on eBay. Decided to cut the sleeves off, make it my own. So thank you, Jerry, for the inspiration. And now I have a new go-to out of my like 73, four, five, who knows at this point, it's in the 70s, for hoodies. And I have a brand new, amazing, unique hoodie. I guarantee you don't see every day. Um, at least in the sneaker YouTube space. So I'll have that on the way soon. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. I'll keep it short. I have a big project I'm working on this week. So please, you do not want to miss that. So make sure that you are tuned in, all right? On my Instagram, at talks.with.tj. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.